shocked me was when Anna said that Marilyn's mom was on the phone with her before she even attacked her and she heard the mom say, I see her, should I go up to her? It's your girl E and I'm back with another review. So today we're going to be reviewing episode 13 and actually the episode was pretty short. I think it was about like 23 minutes. So yeah, we're not going to be here too long, but there is a few things we need to talk about. If you're new here, I'm your favorite guru girly. So go ahead and press that subscribe button right now, chow, because we cover a whole lot of tips and hacks, tours, DIY tutorials, reviews, reactions, you name it, chow. Everything that you need to know to stay up to date with what's going on and what's trendy. Okay. Also, I did go to the Baddies Midwest auditions and the Baddies Gone Wild auditions. It was a two-in-one and yeah, <laughs> a whole lot happened, but, but I just can't wait to share my whole experience with you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned because I will be uploading the um, behind the scenes vlog now my camera did get stolen and we gonna get into that in that video also i'm actually using my new camera that i just got yesterday because you know we're not gonna let a hater stop nothing child um but yeah just tune in because a whole lot happened um and then we gonna find out if i got a ticket or not you know what i'm saying let me know in the comments if you guys think i got a ticket and if you guys want to see me on baddies midwest or baddies on wild so yeah go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more baddies content i also have a interview part two with one of the girls from baddies caribbean and child part two is where we really get into it make sure you tune in and you're subscribed to catch all the tea okay period okay Okay, so now the episode starts with Jayla, Natalie, and Diamond. They're pretty much talking about what happened in the last episode. Um, pretty much Jayla was saying that like, you know, um, she doesn't really understand why Callie was really protecting Gretch and that she pretty much stood her ground. By the way, confessional look eight. Um, so pretty much yeah she was just saying like you know she stood her ground she didn't really know why you know things got that far like i said in the last review i can understand both sides so you know i totally get it that scene was actually pretty short um <laughs> but did you guys catch the part where like diamond was about to jump in the pool and then natalie was like your um string is hanging out but they told her not to jump in because of the mic it, that part had me rolling like oh my god like just go ahead and put sis on blast, why don't you? You know what I'm saying? And I think I did see somewhere posted that Diamond said she's adding Natalie to her hit list for reunion. So I don't know if it's stemming from that or anything, but chow, a whole lot is going on. So we go into the next scene and Tiseki and Mariah are pretty much talking on the beach and Mariah is pretty much telling her how she feels about the whole situation about Anna attacking her mom and you know what Callie had told her about the whole situation regarding the situation with her mom. I believe Taseki asked Mariah like okay it sounds like you guys are just gonna fight but you know after the fight are you willing to like squash it and Mariah was like yeah if she apologizes after they fight she won't keep fighting her. So pretty much you know Taseki said you know if it was her mom she would have to fight too but she didn't really want them to fight because she's kind of in the middle and they're both her friends and yeah i can understand how tiseki feels because that is a hard position to be put in like when both of your friends are at it and you don't really want to be involved and like have to choose a side so i understand tiseki wanted to be neutral and i think that's probably the best thing to have did is to have been neutral so can't blame her for that so then the scene changes and now we're watching Callie and Anna talk, you know, and pretty much Anna was saying, and this part stood out to me, like I never knew this part, that um, Callie was the one who initially warned Anna and was like, hey, what's going on with you and Mariah's mom? Anna was like, what do you mean? What's going on between me and Mariah Lynn's mom? And Callie's like, you know, I think you should get out of here. I think you need to go, like, you know, so 
you know, initially Callie was the one that warned her. So, she, you know, she was pretty much saying like, I couldn't have started this if you were the one that even came to tell me something was up. So, um, but Anna was pretty much saying like, she knows that Marilyn's mom fights behind her. And like, again, she gave Marilyn's mom a few chances, you know, because Marilyn's mom and aunt hit her a few times before she reacted. And she said they slapped the phone out of her hand and even took her phone and tried to run off. So she had no choice but to, you know, fight back. So, um, Callie pretty much still felt like Anna should have still not have hit at all. And, um, you know, Anna pretty much said in her confessional, like, this is not the mom's got beat up club. So I don't know if they're going to get into it at the reunions, but that's a possible, you know, fight that could happen. So then Callie's telling Anna, like, you know, her and Gretch pretty much got into it because, you know, the whole house is pretty much against Gretch. And Callie kind of got past her situation with Natalie and she's getting to like socialize with the other girls and Gretch isn't. So I guess Gretch felt left out and felt betrayed because Callie was, you know, basically interacting with the other girls. Now, Anna child, you be cracking me up. In the confessional, she was like, um, Callie's a flip flopper because, you know, you're in these girls' faces. And then when you're with Gretch, it's like you're not talking to anyone. So she felt like she was being two faced. But I can get both sides. Like, you know, it sounds like Callie still wants to, like, you know, hang with other girls. Like, you know, I guess she started off to a rough start, but now she kind of wants to, like, you know, enjoy her time there. And Gretch is pretty much still beefing with the whole house. But again you kind of allowed someone to make their problem your problem and i get her wanting to be loyal to gretch but you can still be loyal to her and a friend to her and still be cool with other people i don't know I so let me know in the comments what you guys think do you think that like callie should have just like been loyal to gretch and just kind of been with gretch the whole time and not have met and like had fun with the other girls or do you think it's normal that Callie just wanted to like you know interact with other girls and still have a good time you know um yeah let me know because I think I've heard Callie say before like she's a happy person she's not the type that likes to be or fight she's more of a like a uppity person positive person so that makes sense. Who would want to be beefing the whole trip? You know, you also want to have a good time and get to meet everyone on the cast. So, okay. So now we're at the next scene where Roly, Scotty, Meatball, and Tink were all together talking. And pretty much Tink was talking about how happy she was about her chain. And um, Meatball has said, congrats. And it was just like this awkward silence. Like, I don't know. Like, and then the editing for Zeus didn't help. Like, it was just a little awkward silence. And then um, Tink was like, well, you know, my confirmation is from God. I don't really need confirmation from no one else, you know. So I don't really know if anything happened between them, like off camera. But, but you know, you could feel that there's some tension between them. Um, which is normal because they're sisters, you know. Sisters go through it just like friends go through it. Just like any other family member have your differences. So I think it's something that they'll get past. But in the moment, you know, you could tell that something was off. Um, so pretty much they're talking about the chain and everything. And then next they go into like why Roly uh, fought Gretch. I think it was Scotty that asked Roly. Um, pretty much Gretch had been screaming across the room saying like you something something dogs and you know shut up and just you know saying a whole lot of stuff across the room. So when she finally got a chance to get to her uh, security wasn't on her. She was able to get her so she got her. And I get it. She pretty much you know said like you know Gretch needs to respect the house and stop saying the word even if she doesn't care about it, like, you know, stop saying the word because the majority of the people in the house do care about it. So that makes sense. Like it, when you're sharing a space with other people, everybody has to like, um, you know, compromise and try to make everyone comfortable. So if the majority of the people in the house are asking you not to say something slanderous that makes them uncomfortable, I don't see nothing wrong with like, you know, just trying to work with that, you know? Now Anna and Taseki are back together talking and this time they're like in the living room it seems like in the house and pretty much Marilyn is telling Taseki like you know I'm not going to accept Anna's apology anymore. She pretty much crossed the line. It's my mother and you know I don't even want to be cool with her anymore. It's up forever 
and that's pretty much what it is you know Mariah was not letting up she was not taking no for an answer so Taseki was pretty much trying to like reason with Mariah and tell her like hey put yourself in Anna's shoes your mom ran up on her Marilyn said she's sure her mom did run up on Anna so you know but still Marilyn feels like Anna should have, should have had respect for her mom for the simple fact that they used to be friends and so Taseki was telling Mariah Lynn like hey at the end of the day you guys both talk about each other you guys both wronged each other you know and like Mariah Lynn was like no I would never hit Anna's mom or anything like that so you know Taseki was like trying to convince Mariah Lynn but pretty much Mariah Lynn wasn't going for it next thing you know Biggie walks in with Anna and Mariah Lynn and Anna start going at each other oh my gosh it was wild chow so I don't know I don't know who really won the fight to be honest it's kind of hard it was a close one like I, I kind of feel like mm, I kind of feel like it's a tie to be honest with you um I know some people were saying Anna had a black eye but I don't think Anna did have a black eye when I really looked at the footage it just seemed like the lash being off her eyelid it just made her eye look smaller than the other one because the other one still had the lash on but I don't know I couldn't really tell um but it, it looked like Anna got a few licks in and it looked like Mariah Lynn got a few licks in so I can't really say who won but yeah they definitely went at it and um after they fought they were like you know yelling at each other and like Marilyn is like you had a chance to walk away you walked back to my mom and said you don't hit old bees and Anna's like no that's not true I never had a chance to walk away I was talking to Callie and your mom ran up on me da -da -da -da. so then um Callie came they called Callie in there and they're like Callie get in here we did we need to know from you what happened because everybody's saying you told them this you told them that Callie pretty much set the record straight and was like no Anna was talking to me but it was loud enough for her mom to hear and the mom ran up I guess Callie tried to separate them but again Callie feels like you know Anna should have never put hands on Mariah Lynn's mom no matter what and she takes it very personal because she's had a situation like that with her mom so yeah um Mariah Lynn pretty much asked Anna like so what is it what are you on and Anna said I'm on whatever you're on and they started going at it again okay and I don't even know where Anna got that Mortal Kombat kick from child but yeah it, it was going down for real for real and they were just saying all types of stuff I think Anna was like you were begging for a Louis bag and like Marilyn was like you're a walking you know they were just both saying a whole bunch of stuff going at it back and forth it was just crazy child and there was even a point where Mariah Lynn came at Taseki and was like, oh yeah, don't ask me to jump in your fights no more. And like, Taseki was like, what, you want me to jump in? In your fight with Anna? Like, what you mean? You want me to jump in? And I think she even said like, go get something to come fight for you and see what happens. Like, you know, fight her, I guess. I don't know. Like, it was just so crazy. And then, then Anna was saying like, Taseki don't F with you just because you hop in her fights. I mean, she's gonna hop in yours. You keep sucking Taseki's D and you keep like, you know, trying to be part of house B and we don't need a third person and stuff like that. It was just crazy. And I guess Mariah Lynn got mad because Taseki was like silent and didn't really say anything to Anna. But at the same time, Taseki already said she wasn't getting in it. So like, you know, Marilyn wants Taseki to say something, but it's like, she can't control another grown woman and what another grown woman does, you know? Um, but I don't know, what do y'all think? Do y'all feel like Taseki should have said something to Anna? So let me know in the comments, do y'all feel like Taseki should have just like stayed out of it? Or do you guys feel like she should have said something and been like, no, don't speak on our friendship? Let me know in the comments, chat. And one thing that Taseki said that stood out to me before the fight even started between the two of them was that like Anna was just using words at the end of the day. Like your mom is the one that actually physically put hands on her first. And like, you know, um, I think Biggie even said in the confessional, like if you want to act like a baddie, then you're going to get treated like one. So a lot of people are just saying like, you know, Marilyn's mom probably shouldn't have even been there to begin with. Um, so yeah, a whole lot happened, child.
The part that really shocked me was when Anna said that Marilyn's mom was on the phone with her before she even attacked her. And she heard the mom say, I see her, should I go up to her? So Marilyn did know about the situation before it happened. But if you look at the last episode, Marilyn said she didn't even know that her mom got into a fight with Anna until later through Callie when Callie called her. So basically, a lot of the girls felt like, you know, Mariah Lynn put her mom up to this. But Mariah Lynn claims that when she was on the phone with her mom, she told her mom not to get involved and not to do anything to Anna. So, you know, pretty much we can only take her word for it, but no one really knows what was said. But again, it just all seems a little suspicious the way everything happened, you know? So it seems like everyone was more on Anna's side, which I can totally understand because, you know, again, Anna was the one put in a bad situation, um, you know, with all of this. But yeah, Mariah Lynn, again, was just super upset that Taseki didn't say anything through all of this. And she was like, that's crazy. And then, but Taseki felt like, what do you want me to do? Like, I can't hop in a fight between you and Anna and basically was like, what's crazy? You know, she turned up and was like, what's crazy? What's crazy? Marilyn pretty much got quiet and didn't say nothing. And you know, then Anna just kept going on like, ha ha, you scared? Don't get scared now, don't get scared now. And was like, she doesn't F with you and stuff like that and was saying all sorts of stuff. So at that point, I believe uh, Mariah Lynn kind of like started walking towards the other part of the house. And the only person that really kind of seemed to have uh, Marilyn's back was Callie. Callie was the only one that was like, you know, you know, you popped her ish and stuff like that. Like, you know, you, st you stood your ground for your mom, you know? Ciao, it was just a whole bunch of stuff going on. And like, basically Taseki told Marilyn, like, don't do it for the camera, you know? And, you know, she said Marilyn was television in her confessional. So it was just a whole lot of, you know, comments being made. Um, I believe Anna even said like, um, oh, you thought you could be the star over here, but you're not even the star of Love and Hip Hop. You know, she was like, you're begging for a Louis bag. And it was just so much back and forth, you know, between all of them, um, just pretty much going at each other and um, ultimately I'm kind of happy that Mariah Lynn and Taseki were able to talk for a few minutes and I think they decided that you know they would talk later I think Mariah Lynn said like let's just talk later and even when Mariah Lynn told Sapphire the situation I think Sapphire was like um, she didn't know Mariah Lynn's mom got casted you know so I just think everybody was on the same page like they just felt like Mariah Lynn's mom should have been there to begin with and you know the mom got involved a little bit too much um, with a different cast member so Mariah Lynn did feel like Biggie was being fake because her and Biggie had been building a friendship the whole season and pretty much you know they didn't have any issues but she was kind of like egging on the fight and like taking up for Anna and like you know saying why are you hitting her in the face and stuff like that so Mariah felt betrayed but at the end of the day Biggie has let it be known that she is taking up for cousin okay she's standing up for her cousin at the end of the day and that's who she's you know repping so and that's whose side she's on so you know it is what it is um and we didn't get to see the girls the new girls the replacements we didn't get to see them on this episode but more than likely we'll see them on the next one so i'm pretty excited for that um so i'm gonna go ahead and drop a little bit of the snippet for the next episode i believe episode 14 um but yeah, I'm kind of excited to see episode 14 because it seems like a lot is gonna happen. Um, Anna, you know, pretty much mentions in the car like she doesn't like Callie. Callie does too much. And you know, Callie already had an issue with Scotty and Jayla. So it seems like a lot of the girls are starting to feel like they don't really like Callie. And I just feel like I really like Callie on the show. I just feel like she keeps allowing other people to drag them into their stuff. And it kind of is causing friction with her and the other girls. But I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. But yeah, it's a whole lot of stuff going on. The replacements are coming in. It looks like there's gonna be a fight between one of the replacements and one of the girls on the cast so that's gonna be interesting and yeah it's just a whole lot going on y'all so go ahead and take a quick look at that snippet and I will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>
trying to get them all together. I'm gonna bring the replacements with us today to the adventure park. Uh -huh. Someone may have to go in the house. I never even had a friend do me the way do Mariah did. did. Mariah, so I don't, I don't fuck with that. I just feel like Gretchen needs to leave. She's not gonna have no peace in this house. Oh, I'm just so over every body trying and to I kick think, me out, dog. I really don't like Callie, y'all. She don't even realize that all this shit gonna catch up to her. Her name is always caught up in something. She always doing something. And if anybody play with me, I'm gonna stab y'all bitches up. So we haven't been around the ladies in a while. We got invited out to this trip. Like yes, I cannot wait. Four, two, and two, and four. This is the boss's it's birthday. It's Lenny's birthday. It's the CEO's yeah. birthday, which is so exciting. I know sometimes she can get a little tumultuous. We be knocking heads sometimes. <laughs> No, 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 no,